How's it going, everyone? Looks like we've got a pretty major Dragon Ball Sparking Zero rumor that's making the rounds. Now, obviously, we know that there's going to be quite a few characters that are going to be baked into DLC content. And it looks like some characters were initially scheduled for the original game that have been scrapped and I would imagine are going to get baked into DLC at some point. Now, at this point, take it with a grain of salt, but I still thought it would be interesting to talk about. And uh, we will go over it. Uh, the big one is, and this is one that people were very upset about. Uh, this is via a data mining that was done of the game. But there was a listing for Super 17 uh, in the data mine listing. Super 17 is not in the base roster of Sparking Zero. If you don't know, Super 17 is from Dragon Ball GT. I haven't watched Dragon Ball GT in forever. But I believe it was like a fusion of two GTs. And I think Super Saiyan 4 Goku ended up beating him. With, was it the dragon? I don't think it was the dragon. Because I actually think maybe Vanilla Goku, Kid Goku beat him? I, I don't remember, guys. It's been forever since I've watched GT. I just know Super Saiyan 4 is badass. And I thought Super 17 was pretty badass as well as a character growing up watching it. But somebody uh, remind me as far as uh, how Super 17 was beaten by Goku. But nevertheless, that was founded. A listening for Piccolo uh, was founded as well. Uh... Pycon from the Dragon Ball Z Boo arc, and he was in the Janemba movie as well. Jocko, etc. Uh, all of these characters, I imagine, are going to be baked into DLC at some point, and, um, you know, it's going to be characters that'll drop. Now, the interesting thing about this is that at this point, Season Pass 1, which they haven't even called it Season Pass 1, but that has been listed for only Dragon Ball Super Superhero content, which is the movie that came out that had the animation that a lot of people bugged out about. I thought the movie was pretty good, but it's gonna have characters from that and Dragon Ball Daima. They specifically listed those two pieces of media as the characters that are coming up. Goku Mini is separate from the Dragon Ball Daima characters that are gonna be in the season pass, but they're also noting north of 20 characters are going to be available. Now, I guess you could do Gohan as a variant from a Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Then you could do Gohan Beast. You could do Piccolo, uh, Orange Piccolo. That's four characters right there. Cell Max, the two androids, that's seven. Probably forgetting about a few, but um, after that, you could probably add a couple more. And you'll get to 10. Daima, you'll have all the characters from that. And I'm pretty sure with the Super Superhero characters and Daima, you can hit north of 20. What I really believe will happen at some point is they're going to do a second season pass. And you need to have somewhat notable characters that are going to excite people for a second season pass as well. I think season pass one is going to be carried by Beast Gohan. I think that's the easiest sell of all time. They'll do a big red carpet trailer rollout. Oh my god, Gohan Beast is coming to Dragon Ball uh, Sparky Zero. And it's going to be pretty exciting. I love that movie. And I love the ending of it when Gohan goes Beast Form. And I'm sure... That's going to be something that excites people. But what do you get to excite people with a secondary season pass? Well, Super 17, I'm not going to say is as notable as um, Beast Gohan. But I would still say it's fairly notable. And for the Dragon Ball fans that are going to want every piece of content, I imagine that Super 17 is going to be something they'll get incredibly excited about. On top of other characters that they could roll out. Dragon Ball is such a vast universe that they've got so many characters to work with. Android 21, uh, I've seen that thrown around as well. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of options for characters that they could roll out but the thing is um you know you need somewhat notable characters in future season passes and i think that's something that they are going to do i would also from my vantage point you know if they do a second season pass i would like stages to be a part of it as well i don't know if that's going to be a part of season pass one but i do feel like the stage selection while i love the levels i do think it's a little bit limited and if we can expand it um i think there's a lot of options in terms of iconic dragon ball stages and i'm sure that's coming they're going to monetize this game for a long time and uh you know i was critical of about the music packs because that's available day one and you know they're selling a $110 ultimate edition but down the line for more character stages it's just a different gaming ecosystem that I don't have the biggest issue with DLC uh, especially because just about every fighting game is doing this these days where they're rolling out a large batch of characters via multiple season pass and you're keeping the game alive for years and years you know verse 2 was kept alive for eight years I mean it's still alive I shouldn't say it was kept alive it's still uh, kicking with content updates and guys that game came out in 20 
16. It is now 2024, and that game is still getting content updates. Like, Sparking Zero is a far, far bigger game than Xenoverse 2. I imagine it's gonna get updated for a long time. I imagine four years from now, we'll be like, oh my god, PS6 upgrade, oh my god, local, full local split-screen multiplayer. That's something they should absolutely do when we have next-gen hardware to work with. There's just so much possibilities, but, uh, yeah, it looks like Super 17 might be one of the big characters in a future update. Data mine, and it seems like a listing was found for that. Take it with a grain of salt for now, but, uh, yeah, exciting news all around. Let me know what other characters you guys would like to see. I am a Dragon Ball fan, but I am certainly not as big of a fan in terms of being so, so hardcore. Like, Z was my show, and you could also do a lot of stuff from OG Dragon Ball. That's an option as well, uh, but the Z was really my show growing up, and I've, I've watched the Super movies, the Broly movie, obviously, and I've watched a lot of Super, but it's not something I'm super invested into, and I've seen my boy that's super into Dragon Ball has thrown out manga characters. Guys, I don't think manga characters are gonna get added. I think that's something, you know, you gotta wait for it to be animated, and then they'll roll that out. I just don't see that happening, but, uh, yeah, I know there's stuff that people would love to see that's manga exclusive for now, but I don't think that's gonna come to fruition, but again, given that this game might be alive for seven, eight, ten years, uh, you might get to that. I mean, back in 2016, uh, when Xenoverse 2 came out, did we really think, oh my god, Beast Gohan's gonna be in the game, a new form of Gohan. Like, you know, a lot of things can happen over the course of the next few years, but that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.